Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong and I'm going to share with you a shoot that I did on the Sony A77. I'm particularly excited about the Sony technology for the Alpha series because it has live view in the viewfinder which is uh, basically an electronic viewfinder that's very fast and it's almost imperceptible from using an optical viewfinder. What's nice about that is that you can do what I call pre-chimping or you can pre-visualize the image before you shoot rather than having to review it afterwards hitting the play button like you would on most other uh, digital cameras. This one you can actually see while shooting so you can maybe convert to black and white and shoot in black and white or overexpose and underexpose. You can even shoot in manual mode and then use your thumb wheels to control the exposure, the shutter speed and the um, aperture with the thumbnail so that you can maybe overexpose or underexpose in backlit situations, whatever you might want to do, silhouette, anything like that. You can actually see while shooting which is pretty incredible. The other thing that's incredible, not uh, withstanding the fact that it's over 21 megapixels and shoots up to 12 frames per second, is the fact that it has phase detection autofocus, which is much faster than contrast detection, which is basically what's used in most other digital SLRs. Uh, on top of that, it has object tracking, and I think that's one thing that I think is most amazing about it, is that it will actually have the focus and the exposure move around in a little square and follow faces around. So I'm going to basically take you through the settings and the operation of this camera so you can see how it, how it works. So let me go ahead and start at the very beginning. I'll scrub to the beginning, and right here, sorry about this little screen, let me get this out of the way. Um, you can see right up here I've got all of these different things uh, for my controls. Now all of these are accessed by simply clicking once on this function button right here and then using the scroll wheel to go up and down and, and choose the different uh, control settings. What's nice about what you're seeing here is you're looking at the back of an LCD and this is a tw tilt and swivel LCD that you know piv pivots, tilts and swivels so you can stand on top to look down or hold it overhead and look up or you can bring it around the side or actually shoot yourself and turn the screen around and make it look at you. But what's really nice about what you're seeing here is this identical LCD viewfinder perspective can be seen through that eyepiece right up there above. So when you're looking through the camera, you can actually see exactly what you're seeing here. And I'm going to basically take you through on a shoot. So right up here is the drive mode, flash mode, autofocus area, object tracking, and face detection. These are I'm going to focus on in this video. and. Um, um, as you can see right here, you've got the ability to do your exposure override, your white balance, uh, and all these other things, picture style. But let me just go through and I'll show you as we go through the different settings. So here uh, I've got, I'm going to go up to the drive mode and I'm going to pull down to high speed continue shooting. And why not? The camera will go up to 12 frames per second. And with uh, object tracking, even face detection auto tracking, you'll see that it's extremely fast in shooting. Creative style, I can go between neutral, which is my preference for color, or black and white. And you can actually shoot and see in the viewfinder in black and white. Now here's a shot. And let me just freeze it right here and I'm going to show you what, what's happening here in this action sequence. You see that little square that's hovering around over the face? It actually is tracking the face as the image is being captured. Now this of course is an ultra slow motion frame by frame, but you see as it's tracking around like that. And then when it turns green that means that the subject is in focus, exposed properly, and at that moment it will fire. So it's not going to shoot a lot of out of uh, focus images because it really won't fire until it's got a lock on the focus and so bang right there there's a shot and you can see right there there's the actual photograph that was taken so the exposure is correctly uh, uh, prioritized on the face but on top of that look at that the eyes are in focus and I didn't have to crop and refocus or move my uh, focus uh, spot around because the camera will track the face and there it goes again it turns it right on boop see those uh, I think it's 19 points of autofocus or something like that uh, doesn't matter how many oh that, there's kind of a close-up there and then we'll just kinda go like that and I'll show you that it's um, so there's the shot and then as it's going it's firing and you can see that the focus button is firing and tracking so there's there it goes and now it sees mom's face and it 
at this point it does get a little bit confusing because it's trying to decide which face that it wants to prioritize. Right now it sees mom's face and it also sees my son's face as they're both, both in motion and it's prioritizing on mom's face right now. Now this is something that it's going to do on the fly and when, you, when you're shooting critical shooting then basically you would probably want to go ahead and pick one of these little focus squares and then maybe uh, zoom in on the eyeball. But on a dead run like this, shooting 12 frames per second, it's really handy to be able to let the camera use its artificial intelligence and track the subject around. Now right there you see it sees two faces, but it's prioritizing right there on my son and it says, you know what, I choose that one. It's amazing how fast this works. And there's that shot right there. So you can see that he's uh, in focus and priority. Now let me let me take this off of ultra slow motion and I'll just do it in full speed and I'll show you how fast this works. Look at this. Boom. 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 So without having to, you know, kind of go around. And this is something actually that your iPhone will do. Your iPhone will actually do something like this. Your iPhone will track a face around as, as you see when you're shooting and this is very interesting that this type of technology doesn't exist with typical DSLRs and the reason why it doesn't is, and it makes sense is because the typical DSLR does not have the ability to do this type of focus without being in live view and the live view on cameras that that don't have uh, the technology built in for the eyepiece is not as sophisticated as what I consider the current generation of DSLRs which is the Sony Alpha series. So there you go and you can see. Now here I've gone from what they call creative style and again I can pick this through the function button right there and wheel up and down through my menu. I've got a choice of standard which uh, tends to uh, lead to too much saturation, too much contrast. I prefer neutral when shooting in color and then but also as you can see right here you can again switch it quickly to black and white and when you're shooting in black and white you can actually see black and white while you're shooting and that's really handy because a lot of us who are really good professional photographers that can shoot black and white we instinctively know when there's something out of balance we can see black and white through color so we can see dark tones uh, this might be a dark blue or red and it would confuse us in the regular eye to be able to uh, maybe you won't see that it's just too blotchy and dark in one one section and too compositionally light in another sec in another section because you're not trained to really see in black and white the typical photographer wouldn't be but this really helps the amateur photographer to be able to see composition in black and white it's very very nice to be able co compositionally see an image in black and white and shoot as if you're shooting black and white film it's really cool that way and there again you see that it's tracking the focus and then right there as it's moving around and this is done so quickly right there so let me just go back and I'll show you how fast it's done this is actually kind of miraculous watch this Zzz, boom like that and when I'm shooting in 12 frames per second uh, the kid can be moving toward me very very rapidly and it will catch uh, an incredible number of those images with the tracking focus. Now, um, I'll just go back a tiny bit here and I'll show you just a couple more of the features on the left. So, this is autofocus uh, single frame, which means that w it will lock and then it will fire. Another really good choice that you can't really use on, uh, say, a typical Canon or Nikon is AFC. You can feel free to use the continuous autofocusing mode with high speed motor when you're shooting with this camera because it, it has an incredibly high uh, success rate of hitting all those shots. This right here is the autofocus area, which means that it will pick whatever it wants within all of this. And you want to have everything turned on, all these dots turned on, because if you have it on a single dot mode, then it's not going to make sense for it to track. You're going to be stuck basically with technology that comes uh, from maybe the year 2000. This right here is uh, face detection on, and this is smile detection. A little bit silly, but it actually does work. You can uh, program it to bright, uh, broad smile or moderate smile or no smile at all, which is what I have it on right here. And of course, high speed motor. Set your camera to multi zone metering, which basically will not prioritize anything in the screen 
uh, more than anything else, n unlike center weighted, which will, it will only uh, meter the center right here. If it was center weighted or spot metered, it would try to turn that black area into middle gray, which would blow out the rest of the image. So you'll have a whole lot of wasted shots if you don't put this on uh, multi-zone metering. This is exposure override. There's another button on the top of the camera that'll quickly get you there. One thing that's neat is you can see right here I'm shooting in program mode and under program mode I can use my thumb wheel up here to change my aperture uh, and, and set it for the rear or the front wheel to change the aperture. But one thing that you can actually do on the Sony Alpha series is shoot this camera on manual mode and in manual mode you can wheel these things uh, in real time and actually see the exposure change and the aperture change so that you can change your exposure on the fly shooting completely in manual mode but because of pre-chimping you can actually see the image before you fire. Anyway I hope that helps it's exciting technology and um, I've never received a dollar in compensation from Sony I'm just a huge fan of their products because their technology is uh, the most current and state-of-the-art okay hope this video helps make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for lots more content our subscribers always get first crack at the content thank you very much bye bye